yeah, Valentine's Day special. We're gonna get all manic in this bitch. Ooh, yes. Valentine's Day. The fuck was that? Huh? Was that Macho Man? Or? That was is a sexy voice for a Valentine's Day special. That was not that was like, sexy. That was like sexy mixed with, with Macho Man. Did you pause it? Not pause it. Yeah, because, you know, it'd be easy to delete the shit you just did. Oh, Bonnie, <laughs> whoosh. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Be easier to get rid of it. She's dehydrated. Leave her alone. I guess. She wasn't dehydrated five seconds ago when we were just sitting here watching YouTube. She thought the EMF coming off of that baby right there. She's like, I gotta go get some liquid real quick. Mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. All right, Valentine Valentine's Day special. What do you guys thoughts on Valentine's Day? What's your thoughts on Valentine's Day? I thought you were yelling at the dog barking off the way in the distance. I hear you out there. Me and Bonnie <laughs> are both barking at it. How woo 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 woo? How woo woo? woo. I'm gonna sit over here and try to dip this sour candy so I can talk. Yeah. Um. My thoughts on Valentine's Day were that you needed to. Redo the intro to this episode. Redo the intro. Yeah, because you somehow mistook what you said for a sexy voice. All right, all right. Here's the intro. Take two. Ah, <clears throat> <clears throat> uh, let's get all romantic in here. Take off our shirts and oil our bodies up with butter. Eat some candy hearts. Watch Spongebob all night. I'm going to get all romantic in here. For hours in the butt style. You should let me do the intro. <laughs> Two guys in dark. Uh, not gay porn. Uh. I feel like if we want the uh, intro for a Valentine's Day episode, it would sound something like this. Hey, ladies. Are you into... Guys, are you into dark places? Are you into two guys in dark places? Yeah, that's how we'll bring that all together. Two guys in the dark. If we're what you think about, then why won't you listen to us on YouTube? (laughs) (laughs) That's what the ladies want to hear. Or we could just do Betty White as an intro. (laughs) I wish we had Betty White to come Me here too. and do an intro. Because then people would actually listen. We got a lot of things happened since last week. Let's talk about some things. Uh, That's something we should keep going, by the way. What? If we ever get famous and we have like a couple million subscribers, yeah. we should just always pretend like nobody oh. listens to us yeah. forever. Number one YouTube channel. Why don't you guys love us? We... I don't feel the love. We make millions of dollars a year for this, but it's not due to the support of viewers like you because we don't have viewers like you. <laughs> Why won't you listen to us? All right. As y'all know, this is Two Guys in Dark. I'm the host, Captain Cool, Principal Podcaster. I'm with my co host, BJ Butt Chugger of Bananas. And I'm with Princess of Cornbread and Mary. I love how dismissive he was with that. Like, oh, yeah, she's here too. Well, see how fast I said my name. I fucking rapped that shit. Sped through his name, sped through your name. He just wants you guys to know the butt chugger is here. Yeah, he was like caressing VJ's nickname. Like, ooh. VJ. And then like, oh, Mary's here. It's his uh, revenge for me calling him gay all throughout high school. It's like, yeah, I'm gay, but your name's Butt Chugging Bananas. <laughs> What's going on over there? All right, um, a lot of things have happened since last week. Uh, BJ's uncle, Marcus, is a rapper. What? Yeah, this happened just between <laughs> now and last week, apparently. Yes. BJ's uncle's a rapper, didn't you know? No. Yeah, he's a rapper. Like a, like a famous rapper? I mean, rapper. Are you- yeah, he's a rapper. He's he's known. I couldn't say that everybody knows him. Who is it? Uh, Marcus. Well, his name's Marcus. 
willingly. <laughs> but uh, his on his rap persona is Killing Fields. It's spelled different. Killing Fields. Yeah. Does he is he like a landscaper? <laughs> <laughs> You know, or like a nuclear bomb. That would be like the best gimmick rapper ever. I'm just saying, cutting yards, cutting yards. I don't know how to rap that. Well, I imagine he'd be Hispanic. His name would be Killing Fields, and he'd have his own um, gardening lawn, landscaping company. Yeah, he'd be like, you hop on the mower, you get the leaf blower. <laughs> but nah, he's a uh, he's been rapping since I was. 17. Probably since before I was born, to be honest. Damn. I mean, it's, he's, what, <laughs> I'm 25, I'm sure he was in his 20s-ish when I was born, so, I mean, that's when most rappers start, right? Yeah. So he's probably been rapping all my life, so it's not like something new, it's just, I was, uh, so, I was on Spotify, um, no, I was on Facebook and it suggested it to me and I clicked on it, took me to Spotify and I was like, what? My uncle's on Spotify? Yeah. That's so good. That is pretty cool. And then I checked out his music. Um, and I liked for the most part. All right. Also, speaking of Valentine's, I saw a couple. I was like, man, I hope that's me when I'm that age. There's an old guy and his wife and the old guy was on an electric scooter and his wife was in front of him and he was poking he kept poking her butt with the cane I was like oh, that's love <laughs> yeah he kept like tapping her in the butt with it it was hilarious really he was dying he's like <laughs> <laughs> turn around I'm joking you 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 turn around Jesus why do you annoy me all the um, ignore me all the time I know I do this every day and pretend but I'm really dying this day um, also something really bad happened this happened actually a few months ago but like back in October my uh, I guess my debit card started working so I had to like so I like discontinued it and I got a new one and it took them forever to bring it to me like uh, I'd say like three weeks and then like before I even got it I called them like you guys never gave me my fucking card like, well, let's, we'll send you another one. So when I finally got that card, I tried activated it. And I was like, well, you already discontinued it. I was like, dude, I just need my fucking money. I went like an entire month without money. It was horrible. That sounds terrible. Yeah. Uh, holy shit. Yeah, that was a hard month. Yeah. And uh, finally I had to go to Walmart and the, and I got a, they had to write me a check. And it took like, I was set off my, my day off. I was there six fucking hours. Get yeah. my money. I think I would have went there quicker. Had been like, look, give me my fucking money. Oh yeah. Well, I finally lost my shit on him. So. All right. So now you need to go back, go to the bank. I already got a bank now. I got. I, I dropped those. Uh, it was like Money Network who goes to Walmart, and I dropped them like the second I got the money. The next day, went to the bank. What took you so long to get your money then? Uh, well, I had the to get. The card was discontinued through your bank. Yeah, but they they no no they like the card was just invalid, and I just needed a new card so I can have money and it took you that long just to get a new card from your bank yeah yeah mine prints me mine off same day while i'm in there well they were shit it's money network the shit they are they uh, actually made host key of, uh not what's the was, oh yeah they made the list of captain cool which is my list of people i don't like it's a long list it's gonna be a, yeah, it's a very long list we can't eat anywhere basically except like Food oh, is no. unnecessary. <laughs> like, Sean's just becoming a robot. Like, let's see. Is she, uh, well, a lot of restaurants... Why would we go there? They'll probably fuck it up. <laughs> That's exactly how I say it. <laughs> Not in that voice, but, like... Let's see. Wendy's is banned. Arby's. How do you ban Wendy's? Pretty easily. Wendy's is delicious. God, yes. I the chicken to... nuggets, life. The burgers, life. The Chicken sandwiches, well, that's really all They are gay for mayonnaise, and yeah. I hate mayonnaise. The only time I can get oh, Wendy's, the only time I can get Wendy's is like right before work when I'm on my way to work because he won't take me. That squeaking noise you heard was the sound of a Wendy's angel dying because Sean doesn't like Wendy's. <laughs> Don't like Arby's. Don't go to Arby's. 
They fuck it up. I go to Arby's like twice out of the entire year, so that um, ninety percent McDonald's are banned. Ninety <gasps> percent. I just banned. How one. do you live? I just banned one in Nashville. In Nashville? Yes. Why? Because we went to McDonald's the other day and they pissed me off. Oh. You were there. They pissed you off. I don't feel like it was their fault. I yeah. feel like it was that one girl's fault. Okay, so here's what happened. No, we don't want to say anything too racist. That's not going to be racist. Let's not call her. Well, we won't say... We weren't really too specific, so you can call me a racist. It wasn't racist to begin with, but... It was McDonald's. It's, the story's, everybody's going to look at the story like I'm a bad guy before I even start. <laughs> but what happened was, we went, we ordered... I wanted uh, some double cheeseburgers, and Mary wanted one. And then they just put mine in and didn't put Mary's in. And we got to the window, like, hey, you fucked up on her thing. And they're like, no, 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 K, K. Uh, she pointed at something. I'm like, no, bitch. <laughs> this is wrong. And it pissed me off. She's like, pretty much just getting give, give a fuck. Like, well, too bad. You already ordered it. So we pulled back into the parking lot. And I had to go in and get my double cheeseburger. I want to well, shit. But, but what I had actually happened was, I was a little bit inarticulate at the window. And so I screwed up some of the process. And that, I would say, falls on me. But then they completely fucked it up well, once we, we got to the window. Well, when we told them about yeah. it, they should have fixed it. Literally. But this is all they had to do was ring you guys up for another cheeseburger yeah. through the drive through window so that we could leave and also get that cheeseburger. But she wanted to pretend like she didn't know what I was saying. Even though, like, I sat there this whole time and I listened to them talk to each other you know, while we're waiting on our food, I hear them talking to each other. She comes up to the window and pretends like she doesn't understand me. And I'm like, wait, what? You gotta be kidding me. I'm trying, I'm just, we just need to purchase another burger. Literally, that's all we have to do. Then we're, then we're leaving. Yeah. So that, that National McDonald's. I had to take an extra three steps. Man. Yeah. And I don't mean like, just walking. Because I, <laughs> oh God, I had to take a few more steps. But I mean like, like we had to. Pull around, park the car, Mary had to go in, all this just to get the extra cheeseburger. Uh, Crackle Barrel next to our house, banned. Your life sounds so sad. Uh, he just banned crystals by our house, too. Oh my they, god. They fucked up. What do you. What? Oh. Oh. Which, when they get those pimento bites back, you're just gonna have to get over it because. No, fuck them. No, you're gonna have to get over yeah, it. Yeah, who else got banned? See, Elsa, Sean, it sounds like you're going to have to move soon. El- Elsa Zahn's uh, Alcoa band. We talked about them last week. Uh, so what do you guys have by the house now? Taco Bell. Taco Bell is the only ta- place you'd still trust? Well, um, we, oh, Subway. Subway. Subway by, in my work is banned, but Subway by the house is still okay. Okay, Taco Bell and Subway. And, uh, Y'all are either going to get really fat or lose some weight. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know with how much we eat when we do go to Subway. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all are either gonna get really fat or a little bit more fat. <laughs> uh, a lot of times we just get shit at work and make food. Yeah, there's been a lot of cooking at home, which is a good thing. But sometimes Mary just wants a cheeseburger. From fast food place. Well, well I, I cook. but I got I got the better I got a better invention for you. What? It's called the Sean Taco. And what, what I I'm about to explain it. Oh, <laughs> sorry. What I do is I go to Taco Bell. I get me a uh, chicken mini quesadilla, rip it open, stuff some nacho fries in there, and they give you cheese for everything a nacho fries you get. So I dip the cheese on top of it, roll it back up, Sean Boito. This sounds disgusting. It is the most delicious thing in the fucking world. So it's a cheesy potato burrito just with chicken instead. Sure. Oh boy, you make me mad. Uh, (laughs) No, it is called a Sean Taco. (laughs) Okay. You know what I really like from Taco Bell and I wish they weren't so expensive? Hmm? Like full size quesadillas. Like the big They they are too expensive, really. Yeah, they used to be like 210. How much are they now? In the 90s. No, I'm just kidding. No. In like, uh, now they're like early four. 2000s. Yeah, now they're like 350 390 It's about $4 for everyone. 
So if you get two of them, which doesn't even fill me up. This is like, how, this, this how you know we're fat. Like, we're just sitting, <laughs> we were talking about <laughs> Valentine's Day, and now we're just having a monologue about food. <laughs> Fuck this fast food restaurant. <laughs> Fuck that fast food restaurant. Can't even go to this. Dude, the, the I hop next to my work. They suck too. And like they're all teenagers. They, they didn't used to suck. They it, Mary's fucking silverware had butter on it. Yeah, but right when I opened it, it had butter on it, and I was like, <laughs> the, the, so I wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so you're mad. That the fork came prepared for you. No. It was ready for you. It was like you're gonna need me. It was. Like, <laughs> it was ready for the last guy who ate the fork. So like I I unwrapped my silverware and it's all the butter on. I was like, this is disgusting. So I like. But like you threw don't need it. it. You don't and then I grabbed the one from the table next to us. <laughs> but it's funny because it's like you, you're eating pancakes, so it's like you don't even gotta. Butter. You, you, you don't even gotta butter it. It's, but it's I all the knife. But I don't want the. Previous... They saved you a step because they're no. like, she ordered pancakes. I bet she was just like, I'm just gonna put a little butter on here. And she's gonna love me for it. You unwrap it. You're like, ew, butter. Throw it. And she's like, in the background watching you. She's like, oh, she hated my cunt gesture. Gesture. <laughs> no, like Anime I didn't. Style. I didn't want the last guy's leftover butter. Like I'll, I'll um, take the new butter. Could have been a girl. Could have been a girl. Whatever. You and, know what I mean. and then yesterday I went to a Chinese place. Good, great food, shit service. Mm-hmm. Or we, I didn't get any fucking refills. And did I, it get? Did it make the list? Like you're never gonna go there again? Cause the no, food was... I want to give it a second chance because it could have just been some. Because st- I think who was our waiter? Do we? Well, even... We were there on a Saturday when all their waiters were like kids. And then like the fucking uh, and the place was kind of packed. The hostess was like throwing a fit when we came in, and it took them like five minutes to see us. And uh, we, they took us to a whole empty section. I was like, how did it take us that long to get to this fucking empty area? I don't know. I just want to point out that it was disgusting the, when you, like, put that giant, like, full shrimp eyes first into your mouth and just... I, like I almost puked. Well... So I had my first crawfish. I, d- I had his first fra- crawfish, too. Not like a human centipede way, but, like, uh, I ate some of it. As well, you said here, try this. It was, it was, it was decent. I wasn't, wasn't bad. It wasn't enough to for me to. Yeah, for me, it was like okay, so I'd have to get five of these, crack each of these open. When I could just get like crab or lobster somewhere. Else. Yeah, like I'm like I don't. It's not worth it for me. That's why I don't like wings that aren't boneless because I'm like I'm too lazy to do all this. Oh work. my god, you're missing the best kind of wings. No. Yeah. No boneless chicken wings are the best. Is that purple? Most purple. All right, uh, I pooped, so we should be good. Mm-hmm. Oh, you you guys wonder why I'm so gassy today? Why? Y'all had we had cereal. Oh shit! You that, like toast and powder? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jesus! <laughs> why am I breathing again? <laughs> you stink. It's not my fault. He did this to me. <laughs> Happy like time. man, he did this to me. <laughs> oh, I can smell it for sure. Why are you so? Mad? It's like it lives inside me. Oh shit, son! I completely forgot you were lactose intolerant. I did too. Actually, when I bought the cereal, I knew, but I was like, <laughs> "Nah, he'll be all right." Oh, I haven't had uh, just like regular milk in a minute because. I've been doing that keto diet thing. Isn't there like, is there like lactose milk you can have, like not fake milk that tastes like milk? Yeah, it's well, yeah, lactate. Yeah, yeah, you can, but I've been just sticking away from it because there's nothing I can really do with milk. On the, I mean, I, I put it sometimes in some of the meals I prep. Yeah. But for the most part, um, I stay away from it. Okay. Too much temptation to get back on that Fruity Pebbles diet. Um, another thing that's happened... Uh, well, this happened a couple months back too. Uh, uh, we went to Kentucky, Louisville, Kentucky, and it was uh, pretty cool actually. We went to this ark, the re- replica of Noah's ark, and it was fucking gigantic. And it was beautiful. And expensive. 
Wasn't that expensive? Yeah, a hundred dollars for two people is a little expensive. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, uh, but I mean, that's was, a dinner date and a movie right there. Is well, uh, it was. Well, really, I just meant like you know, they have food, but you, know, you have to buy those separate as well. Now that you go with that, I was just like, I really want to open that. <laughs> Play with it. <laughs> we should do those. Uh, we should. Damn, Bonnie. While she's sleeping. Don't blame Bonnie. That wasn't Bonnie. Is that you? No, I didn't fart that time. I thought she growled at uh, somebody. It sounded like she was snoring. Oh. oh. It's what she growls in her sleep sometimes. So like, it sounded like a fart. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is the coolest uh, monster truck figure. So, Sean, last week, you, you probably heard I won the uh, quiz show. Sean got me a John Cena monster truck figure. It looks like it's got the body... I'm gonna say about Plymouth, but you know what? Oh, I could be wrong. All right, Mary, what did you think of the arc? You went with me. I thought it was beautiful. Yeah, they uh, they actually had like a little village outside and like kind of like a little zoo, but all the animals were gone because it was cold. They had a llama in there though, and I wanted to pet it because it was in like a little petting kind of area and. Uh, then when I got up there, I was like, no, I don't want to get my hands dirty. Um, yeah, it was like three or four floors. Why are you playing action? Don't play action figures on the show. I was worried it would make that noise if I drove too fast, so I was like... Driving really slow. But, uh... There were, like, not very many people there. I was really surprised. Well, I mean, $100 for two people, I wouldn't would come that often either. <laughs> we went... Jesus. What? This was just for the ark? How much money did you guys spend on that trip? Uh, like $1,000. $1,000, yeah. A piece or together? Together. Together. It's not as bad, but still pretty fucking bad. Yeah. I mean... Most of it was all the celebrity intros Yeah, that we, we got, got, what do you think, 29 celebrity intros? Yeah. All together for the podcast. A lot of them did them for free. Yeah, or there's so, a lot of them were really cool. Yeah, but, pretty cool. But the ones that did do it, they were expensive. Yeah, um, Mary got really disappointed when she met William Shatner. Oh though. my god, it ruined the whole trip for me. No, it didn't. Yeah, better not have. So we went up to William Shatner. He said, "For a thousand dollars, it better not have." <laughs> And that was the thousand dollars was for like food and the hotel and the Uber and everything. And well, I meant like the trip in general. Yeah, oh, it, it, if we're yeah. counting all that, it's probably close to like thirteen hundred. Oh Jesus, Jesus Christ! We don't spend like but three hundred dollars when we go on vacation. But it's like <laughs> our goal is to not spend money so that we can enjoy all the money when we get back. But yeah, continue. So we went up to William Shatner. And um, his line was going like super fast, and at first I was like, "Yes." Every every line kidding. at Louisville SuperCon for a celebrity went insanely fast. You go to any other con, you could wait two three hours. You go to this con, like even the biggest lines, you can get up there in like eight minutes. I'm pretty sure fanboy, we were in line for uh, Ron Perlman for like three hours. It was like. I'd say it was like hour and 40. No, it felt like like four hours. It was like hour and 40. But anyway, um, so we get up to William Shatner, and they, they take our little card thing to get his autograph. 80 bucks. It was $80. And um, they put my name on a sticky note on the top so he knew what name to pick. So there was no like, oh, hey, my name's William Shatner. There was no introductions. He just like... Oh, hi, Mary. And then took the sticky note off. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Have a good day. Yeah, I don't think he even said to have a good day. Just hand it to us. There you go. I was like, are you kidding me? All right, but on the flip side, tell them how cool Henry Winkler was. Henry Winkler made my weekend. <laughs> he was right next to William Shatner. I wanted to be like, when I was at yeah. Henry Winkler's. <laughs> Just so you know, she did a weird cat noise and gestured the stone cold uh, middle fingers. No, I was gonna say like a signature oh, uh, salute. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so Henry Winkler was the coolest guy there, in my opinion. And like we went, we went up to him, and he was like, 
hey, do you want to buy some kids' books? <laughs> He's just wishing his kids would because I was like, well, I mean, I was just thinking we could, like, take a picture. He's like, okay, come on down. And I was like, oh, okay. uh, he did. He did an autograph a picture and an intro for the podcast for 40 bucks. Hells yeah. And he said that I was a sweetheart. He gave me, like, four hugs. And he was just generally awesome. And he was only, like, this tall, so it was like... The cute little old man kind of thing, you know? You know, I could see him playing a character in, like, a game of D&D. Like, the way he is in the movies. Like, yeah. one of your, like, like Uncle Billy. Yeah. He'd be, like, the Uncle Billy of the crew. <laughs> I could see that. But, yeah, he was so nice. He was my favorite by far. I, my favorite, I really like Henry Winkler. The dude from Clerks, Dante from Clerks, uh, Brian O'Halloran. He was super cool. Uh, we got a picture and an intro for like, what, five bucks? Yeah, his was really well. And he did really good. The guy that played the Rizzler from the Anima- Batman animated series, yeah. we were taking pictures with him and he kept like booty bumping me. And I was like... He was hysterical. <laughs> I was like, calm down, bro. I, I had a really good time talking to him. Uh, Dana Snyder, voice of Ma- Master Shake from Aqua Teen Hunger Force. I, I almost pissed myself laughing <laughs> talking to him. You know, when, when he was doing his intro, his was definitely the probably fun- the, the funniest <laughs> one ever. It was great. What are you looking for? I was just listening. I was letting you guys... Rip. And, uh, they also had a, a fanboy cosplay wrestling show at the con. It was, a. Uh, Fantasy Super League Wrestling or something like that. Cosplay and, wrestling. Yeah, and it was like really fucking cool. I'm really disappointed we didn't really get to see Skeletor fight though. Like yeah. he came out and did like a promo with that one chick, and then they were like, "Oh, bye." <laughs> yeah, okay. he he was he was definitely the best actor. Did we do it? Why well, you got to be lighting a candle right now? He wants. It just smell nice in here. It helps with all the gas I've been putting off. <laughs> I think the wick just might have gone dead was all. I mean, like, uh, it's all the way down there now, so I might just need a new, a new candle. Uh, anyways, continue. Yeah, the, the, co- the wrestling was super cool. They had uh, one guy dressed up. He came out of Star-Lord, and he did the dance, come out to the music. He looked pretty good, and he is probably the best wrestler out of everybody. Mm-hmm. And then there's a hairy dude who dresses Lobo, and then you had Team Rocket, Jesse and James come out, and they got their ass whooped a lot. Uh, Jesse switched sides to Lobo's team at yeah, one point. Yeah, they had a tag team match. I don't want to yeah. be ta- partners with James anymore. Well, it's like a- the fantasy draft we had like a long ass time ago. Yeah. And uh, it was really cool because Lobo was Vega's partner from Street Fighter. And Vega and James teamed up together and they both gave each other a rose. Oh, that's like, cool. oh, that's cool as shit. Oh, another angel died. Wendy's is just so sad that yeah, you Wendy's won't eat their food. Is, Wendy's is like, why? Come back to us, Sean. It's crying. He's like, he's in there. He'll talk about stupid fantasy hero wrestling but he won't come eat our burgers that's what the angels well if, if they weren't gay for mayonnaise so I wouldn't well, they just are gay get, for mayonnaise just I would have loved you. to have seen Dave his wrestling what what I said I would have loved to have seen that oh um, dude it's on YouTube you can watch their stuff on YouTube really yeah there's actual like a like story and it's a league and type thing yeah, they have I gotta story, see this they have storylines the and we just stopped the podcast right now. The commentator is uh, Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty. Oh, and he sounds it. just like him. It, and that was kind of cool. Uh, did we do anything else? We went to a movie premiere of uh, Return to Return to Newcomb High. Uh, it was the guy who created Toxic Avenger, Class of Newcomb High. This is his newest movie. Uh, yeah. And if you, <laughs> if you like that type of movie... I mean, it's going to be right up your alley if you like, you know, cheesy B-movie horror movies. So, if you like that kind of stuff, it'll, it'll be up your alley. I'm sure me and uh, Vijay are going to dive into that world one day. 
Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. The terrible day when we're forced to go down Crime Alley and watch our parents die. Yeah, we'll probably go down there at yeah, some point. At some point. And um, we had a blast going up there. Um, Alice Cooper, actually, he was cool. We talked to Alice Cooper. He drew a picture for Fears Are Us. In my personal sketchbook. I was so excited. You have no idea. I'm sorry. <laughs> and uh, we made him chit-chat about scary movies, too. It was really, he was really dope. And nice. It was funny because we went up to him and uh, he was like, what, what do you guys want today? I was like, I brought my sketchbook and I had it like this. And I was like, Dee. <laughs> And so he's like, hey, I made the sketchbook moving up in the world. <laughs> it was kind of funny because he was flipping through her sketchbook and Mary had drawn hentai in there. I'm pretty sure he saw it. I'm like, I hope he didn't see it. I'm sure he did. I hope he didn't see it, though. I hope he did see it, and he has a podcast, and he talks about the weird people he's met. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. This one girl had hentai in her sketchbook. For the record, for everyone listening, I don't draw hentai anymore. Why? And I threw that picture away. Why? Just because. Okay. For the record. Right. I don't do it anymore. It's now time for shit we eat. Ooh, ooh, wee. I'm pretty sure the original name for this segment was eating shit. And eating then, shit, like, yeah. and eating then shit. you keep changing it. Yeah, you keep calling it shit we eat. Eating shit. It's our, eating shit. That's the... Or our favorite segment, which we all love, eating shit. Because we're all fat and fluffy. <laughs> eating shit. A Valentine's special. Now, be careful with the first thing we're going to try. VJ stuck one up his ass last night and farted on it. Like legit. Oh, that one made it into the bedroom. Oh, good. I'm glad you didn't put Leslie it back in. Leslie made it. All right. <laughs> These. All right. <laughs> These are milk chocolate pretzel rods. Sounds sexual. That's what I call my dick. <laughs> a milk chocolate pretzel rod. <laughs> Man, if they if they needed it right on the nose, I put it right on the nose right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this smells delicious. I took all of you and you went it all away from that. Oh my god, it tastes decent. I think it tastes better after pretzel was warm. But other than that, it's pretty delicious. Mmm, I can warm the pretzel. This is really good. What are you doing? It worked! Did it? No, it just has a smoky taste now. <laughs> this is delicious. I think it's just okay. It's like a take five, but they forgot two of the ingredients, so we're just <laughs> like, here, take three. It tastes like those, um... When I worked at Ingalls, I used to get bags of pretzels, chocolate-covered pretzels, on, uh... Break. It's just just like that. It's so good. I think they were called flips. Upside though, these have caramel on them. Mary likes caramel. Where'd you go? It's the eating shit portion. I know, but... We gotta know what it tastes like. Oh, you gotta get another one? Need to be absolutely precise, right? Yeah. Ah. Mm. 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 Sorry. Um, candy hurts my teeth after a minute. Mine does too. I got a giant hole in one of my tooth, my teeth. And that's how you know we all don't go to the dentist. <laughs> <laughs> I got a big old hole in my one of my teeth, and like every time I eat chocolate, that motherfucker. Hurts like a bitch. <laughs> I have that same problem. I have cavities as well. That's why I brush my teeth every day. Round and round. Circle small, gum and all. I brush my teeth every day. 
I didn't. Do you I didn't, brush your I, teeth two times a day to keep your gums healthy and fight tooth decay? No. I do it once a day. Just and brush your teeth. I didn't always. <laughs> That's a song. It's a, it's a song. I was quoting the lyrics right there. I didn't always brush my teeth every day. That's why they're in the shape they're in right now. And it's only my molars that are bad. Like, I don't know why. I'm starting to wonder if it's not because I chew literally everything with my molars. Are humans supposed to chew everything with their molars? I don't know. That's just move it around. Which ones are the molars? The very back, like, four on each side. Yeah. You bite with the front teeth, you chew with the back teeth. Okay. All right. I'm going to try the next thing. Gourmet sweetheart popcorn. I haven't finished this first thing yet. Put the savory chocolate caramel sweet pretzel dick in it. <laughs> I couldn't remember what they were actually called. <laughs> no chocolate like, pretzel rods. Just you, a sexual. You swallow the damn pot. <laughs> Okay, good thing it's ain't a video. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it sounded like she was playing one of those old instruments. The did you hear do? Yeah, that's the one. She's just playing it really bad. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna learn how to play? The did you do? <laughs> no. Um. As so, far as like weird instruments go, I do want to learn how to play the piano. The Zimmerman. But, what? Zimmerman. What's a Zimmerman? That's where you got that little box, and then like you put a stick over it, and it makes this like creepy ass like ooh, ooh <laughs> sound. Do you the do one... the didgeridoo? Everybody do the didgeridoo. I don't know if that's what it's called, but like you you have like the thing, and and you like move your hands yeah. over it, and, like in the air. It doesn't look like you're doing anything, but like one controls like the. One controls like the the frequency. And, like, oh, the thing that just makes ghost noises all the yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. I want to learn how to play that. I think it's called a Zimmerman, is it not? It could be. I just don't know. I learned it from uh, I Am Weasel. He was playing one. Oh. <clears throat> Pretty educational. <laughs> What's I Am Weasel? Motherfucker. <gasps> This comes from the fact that you weren't allowed to watch Cow and Chicken as a kid. Actually, I didn't really want to watch Cow and Chicken. This comes from the fact, the fact that you had a terrible childhood. That's what we're. That's the takeaway from this. I want to go back in time and raise you right, and then go back in the present. I want to go back. That's what I heard. I want to go back and kidnap you as a child, <laughs> so that your parents don't ruin your life. The cop, that's what he just said. The cops were like, "Why did you do it?" I'm like, "Um." She doesn't know what good TV is. <laughs> so like, oh, well, carry on. I was not allowed to watch SpongeBob, but I would go over. What? My, I would go over my friend Brenda's and watch it with her behind my parents' back. Why and now I just watch, watch it because I don't care. I was watching like Scream at two. Like, my mom thought that it would make me stupid watching SpongeBob. And, like, even when I was, like, older and, like, my brother had my nephew, whenever he was at the house, my mom was like, turn Spongebob off! Sounds like your mom just didn't want to watch Spongebob. Yeah. Don't watch that, it'll make you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> She'll buy that. I don't know why your mom, I don't know why your mom sounds like that. She sounds like a heavy smoker. It'll make you stupid. <laughs> Also, like, my dad always had to have control of the remote. I was not allowed to watch anything. That's anyone's ever. childhood ever. Yeah. Us. At one point, me and my brother had our own TV in our room. Yes, we shared a room for, like, the first half of my life. Um, Ooh, so you seen your brother's wee-wee. No, it wasn't like that. We just had, to, like, there was obviously, like, if one of us had to change, we'd be like, hey, get out. Or we'd go to the bathroom. I'm sure you saw it at some point. I mean, like, no, I've never seen uh, it. I guess me and my sister are just so close in age. <laughs> that just inadvertently 
Uh, just I just <laughs> shared so some anyway. information that no one anyway. needed to know. I was, I, in my head, I was like, should I ask? <laughs> <laughs> or should I leave it alone? Anyway, <laughs> at what point, me and my brother had our own TV with our own illegal cable cord hooked into the back of the TV and uh, on a little 12 inch TV and we would sit and watch our cartoons in our room <laughs> on the floor because we didn't even have enough room for little chairs in there like I was a single child so I had my own TV and I was watching Cartoon Network religiously I would watch episodes I've seen probably 20 times I just like okay it's a good one let's keep going I loved cartoons as a kid I still do. I'm a grown ass man who loves cartoons. I can admit that. Yeah. But I think the reason I liked them so much is I didn't have any friends. So I was like, these are my friends, and like. <laughs> well, you got friends now. Yeah. Yeah, I still like. That's why I get like I really love cartoons. I'm like, no, they had my back when I was a kid. Everybody finds their niche. Yeah. You son of a bitch. All right. Do you still eat that shit? <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like an eight hour episode because we're waiting on our fish's pretzel rod. It's so good though. Hey, you don't act like it. It hurts my teeth. <laughs> Alright, well, you can sit that to the side. Yeah, we'll sit to the side. And... <clears throat> Next up. Do what you do, the didgeridoo. Everybody do, didgeridoo. Next up, gourmet sweetheart pop- popcorn. Yeah, there is this weird... Try this out. I don't know what that pink thing is. You won't like it. It's good, though. Did you say sweetheart popcorn? Like yep. it's got sweethearts? Uh, I, there's a big pink piece right here I gave you. Oh. It's delicious. Do you know what that is? It's delicious. This is the best candy You'll ever. You'll hate it because it's strawberry flavored, but it's delicious. This is a strawberry for you two, you guys listening. Those strawberry... Wafer cookies that come in like with vanilla ones and strawberry ones and chocolate ones. The strawberry ones were always my favorite. <laughs> well, the popcorn itself is delicious. Caramel popcorn mm. is the best kind of popcorn. However, the sweetheart stuff I don't really care for because I think it makes a pretty good flavor in my mouth. Like once they blend together, the hints of strawberry. Oh my god. Go get another can of this. Well, I got this at work. Okay. Well, you're gonna stock up on it. All right. Well, well since you're stocking up on that, I'm gonna eat this chocolate stick. You stock up on those too. <laughs> Daddy likes his chocolate rod pretzel. This is Leave him alone. This is how you could tell how fat we are. We spent an hour eating shit. <laughs> this this eating shit section, ten out of ten. It's usually like eight out of ten. What kind of caramel is this? Oh, that's delicious. Oh, it's coated in the wafer strawberry cream. So it's caramel. I think if I get more of this, and I'm just going to get caramel popcorn exclusively. Mm-hmm. You can get that for you, but you're getting me more of this. This is what I want for Valentine's Day. I want four cans of this. Damn, fuck. That, hey, that's Beer last. you want for Valentine's Day, you're winning. Beer last Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say she's going to eat them all on Valentine's Day. <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man? The didgeridoo? The Muffin Man? The didgeridoo. Yes, I know the Muffin Man. Who lives on Drury Lane? Oh yeah. Out of on didgeridoo lane. No. Didgeridoo, sorry. There's a didgeridoo reference I want to make, but I can't remember the exact wording. And it's on one of the songs I picked for Two Guys in the Groove in season two. The song is called um Motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh really? Who's it by? <laughs> Motherfucker. Is it by Joan? No. <laughs> I remember you listening to that song the other day. He says didgeridoo in there or something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's a song. It's a. It's like on season two. It's a rap song. And he goes, something, 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 and the didgeridoos. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Why don't you look it up real quick? 
It's not important. It or we is just, important. Because we keep make, we just keep making Andrew do references, but it's it's fine. <laughs> Next time, just didgeridoo. Don't. Oh. How long have you been holding that one in? <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the moment he brought up the fact that we were using too many references to didgeridoos and then went on the long spiel about the rap song, I was yeah. like, I'm going to say this as soon as he's done. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Now, time for our next segment Video of the Week. This one is le- uh, it's Leatherface. Lame. Friends with no faces. Motherfucker, it ain't. <laughs> Motherfucker, it ain't. <laughs> this is, I think, the best parody I've heard in years. Perfection parody. I thought it was weird. Although they did, uh, it was cool because like they got it to flow exactly like the original country song did, uh, uh-huh. but like talking about Leatherface. Yeah, it was amazing. It was okay. No. Ooh, ooh. Who's a parody expert in here and knows a lot of parodies out there? I don't know where no, don't, don't point don't point at Mary. Don't point it's me. Beep 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 back. No wait no I At least one of my radars works. I know all there is to know about parodies and comedy music. Big Weird Al fan, big Cletus T fan. I love. I know a bunch Who's of that? those. He wrote the first parody, ever. Yeah. Fuck him! I know. I mean, <laughs> I thought you were the expert. I'm the, yeah, I mean, I know the answer to this question. Who? Beethoven. Mhm. Is there a story behind Is it? Is it Bach or Beethoven? Bach. 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 Okay, what it makes Bach? sense immediately is what if it? you get the right classical musician. Yes. I think it was Beethoven. Though. Okay, well, is there a story? The guy who went deaf in both ears That's and still wrote music? That's Beethoven. That's a parody if I ever heard one. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? Can't hear shit. <laughs> but, but they don't know. So... What I'm if, just gonna fucking roll with it. What if Beethoven really sucked? He's just banging his fingers on the board <laughs> and everybody's like, just pretend he's good. Yeah. Everybody's like, oh, that was amazing. He goes, hey. <laughs> Dead people aren't retarded. Yeah. But. <laughs> Back in the day, they might as well have been. <laughs> no, but, uh, like, you know, he just, he still wrote all these songs without being able to hear it. I like to imagine somebody was just like, yeah, let's, uh, you know, he's writing these songs. He loses his hearing. He's like, oh, God, the new stuff he wrote down is terrible. It sounds awful. He goes, just play this instead. Yeah. <laughs> but this song, I think, is the best parody I've heard in years. And it was amazingly done. The masks were amazing. And it was just like, I don't know. I just, I loved it. I, I've listened to this probably 20 times in a month. I was going to the bathroom the other day, and all of a sudden it starts playing, and we were like watching a movie. And as soon as I left, he's like, "Well, oh, let's turn on other faces." <laughs> so it's like, I was really? a lot. What do you think about it, Visa? You haven't said a damn word about it. I was kind of pissed. She just said she didn't see it, and then she what? Maybe we sit through it a second time. I was kind of mad about that. <laughs> I didn't. I was pretty get fucking to... pissed about it. I didn't. Actually... I was like, God damn it! I had to watch this a third time now. I didn't actually get to see it. I just heard it play. Mm-hmm. I played it before. Mm-hmm. I know, I know you did. I'm not stupid. Um, I know the moment you found it, you were like, "Mary, watch this five more times." <laughs> that sounds like me. And she was like, "You know what? Fuck BJ." <laughs> That's all that was in that moment. It was malice if directed I, straight towards me. <laughs> Fuck you. You're gonna watch this movie. If I'm gonna <laughs> suffer, he's coming with me. <laughs> I could have saved us both. That's the funny thing. I need a refresher. I haven't seen it. I could have <laughs> saved this boat. What? You act like it's horrible. It was an amazing video. It was okay. I'll give it. I'll give. Okay. 
Lyricism, creativity, 100%. Yep. Visually? Visually, it was really decent, too. Well, it was amazing. I was like, dude, this is... Shit. It was, yeah, yeah, it was great quality. Yeah. But its effect runs out on me quicker than... than Some songs you listen to, I don't like it. Yeah. Other songs you listen to more and more, and you're like, why did I like it? It's one of those situations. It's like, it is funny. But after the essential... Ha ha. Yeah, I'm kind of just like... Okay. It wears off on me. Well, Which is different from a lot of other parodies. Because I, you know, I still love to, to this day a lot of Weird Al songs. Yes, me too. Because they're just that good. Yeah. So it could be the fact that it's a country music song and they don't have as much staying power with me. It's, I, I actually do like the original song, uh, Low Places. Um, oh, fuck, I want to say it's Garth Brooks. I actually do like that song. I do like some country. It's not a lot. But this is one of the few I like. And I'm like, dude. <coughs> and the dude who's... So good. The, and I did the, like it. The dude who does his voice sounds just like him. He did. Spot on. And uh, if you want to see this video, decide for yourself. Go to exclusively our Facebook page, Two Guys in the Dark. We got you the hookup. We got you all the best videos of the week. And our videos are up there. So if you miss one, you can watch one of them. Art. Come here, what about the other video of the week? That's for next week. Oh. I was just wondering because, like, we just watched it. Don't but... metagame. What? That's a DD reference. I was just making a joke. Because <laughs> cause that's technically what we're doing. We're metagaming. We're pretending they're weeks apart. Yeah. They're we're metagaming. We're like five minutes apart. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was just a joke. But it was kind of funny when I thought about it. I was like, this is great. No one's going to get it. Nobody got it. You guys want to hear some Valentine's random facts? No. If it has anything to do with sex, no. Oh boy, here we go. Or love. <laughs> or chocolate. Or here we go. <laughs> that, is, that might be a Valentine's thing. I don't know. Fact number one. 220,000 is the average number of proposals on Valentine's Day every year. That sounds like love, Sean. Didn't want to hear it. All right. Second fact. Women purchase approximately 85% of all gifts on Valentine's Day. Really? Uh-huh. Somebody should have told me that. <laughs> <laughs> Leslie not get you anything? Mm -hmm. And she does. I just always try to make sure to buy a bunch of gifts on Valentine's Day to like make it. I had an ex-girlfriend who didn't give me stuff on Valentine's Day. But, anyway... Number it's three. hard for me to get you stuff because I can only go to the store when you're there. So then I have to hide it. Yeah. And Amazon's. <laughs> it's Amazon. So. Alright, number three. You just throw it on your front porch and Sean will be like, what's this? <laughs> I, don't, I don't like Amazon. <laughs> I don't know, Sean. I don't know what that is. Number three. 180 million stems of roses are sold in the U.S. on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Number four, 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 four. The red rose was the favorite flower of Venus, the Roman goddess of love. Makes sense why it's the flower of love. Number five, the last fact. Over one billion dollars is spent on chocolate in the U.S. around this time of year. I need to see, like, each month's number of chocolate. Because I just assume that much chocolate's bought every month of every year. Uh, yeah, I don't know either on that one. What's the specs? Need the specs. The specs? I said specifics, oh. but I said it really weird. I don't know what happened there. Need the specs. <laughs> Alright guys, it's time for 
We Beach. should have a, we should create a character in a show that talks like that. I don't know what show. Like if if we make a, show? like just in any show that we end up doing, we should have a character who like randomly just anagram or like shortens everything, but still somehow makes it longer. All right, it's time for BJ's favorite segment, the Captain Cool Quiz Show. The Captain Cool Quiz Show. All right, so the same rules hit the table. Yeah, hit the Shut table. Down. All right, you gotta get there. Are six questions total. I feel like we should have different rules each time. Six rules to uh, six questions total. Whoever gets the most wins. Number one, what is the name of Robin, who is a young blonde female, and is the daughter of the Clue Master? What? What is the name of the Robin, who is a young blonde female, and the daughter of the Clue Master? Oh shit. Now, guys, don't rush to hit the buzzer here. Don't don't fight each other over it. <laughs> I thought she was gonna hit the buzzer. Nope, just getting popcorn. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. Well, oh boy, did you guys pass? Yeah, I'm not gonna remember it. I remember the storyline. Mary, I have no idea. All right, so the clue master is Arthur Brown, and uh, he's kind of like. Kind of like the Riddler, but not as cool. And his daughter is Stephanie Brown, and she became Robin, and later she becomes the Spoiler. The Spoiler. I guess as a, a hint to, like, you know, spoiling the eight questions about, from her dad. I don't know. Alright. Number two. What are the two main characters in season two? What are the name of the two main characters in season two of Captain Cool's Bizarre Adventure? What's your answer? Boob and Kishon? You said two main characters, right? Wrong. Oh, I was thinking Joe's Bizarre Adventure. Sorry. Boob. And your dad's character. So I haven't got that far in the right. series. Wrong on you. Your turn. Mistra and, um... <laughs> oh, if you fail this. Dis- <laughs> uh, Dishonored Balasaur. Correct. We call him um, Bulbasaur, though. <laughs> what? Which is not a Mario game, and this is multiple choice, so you guys are going to have a little easier time. Melise can guess. Which, uh, what are the, okay, on. which is not a Mario game? A. Mario is missing. B, Dr. Mario. C, Super Mario World 3. Or 4, Mario teaches typing. What? Your joke. The first one? A? Yeah. Mario's missing. Mm-hmm. Wrong. Dr. Mario. Wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, it was obviously. <laughs> Mario teaches typing. Wrong. C. Correct. <laughs> I don't even remember what C was. Super Mario World 3D. <laughs> Alrighty, so it's 1-1. One, one. What? I, I oh, Mario. Super Mario World 3. Yes. Okay, I see. A little bit of wordplay. Hmm? I don't know. Super Mario Brothers 3, but not a Super Mario World 3. You guys got one piece and then one wrong, so you got two questions to go. Actually, three, my bad. Three questions to go. <laughs> Number four, another multiple choice. Which is not an artist on the Two Guys in the Groove playlist? A. The Gorillas. B. Red Hot Chili Peppers. C. The Misfits. D. ZZ Top. Mary. ZZ Top. Wrong. BJ. The Gorillas. Wrong. The third one. I forget what you had said. The Misfits. Yeah. Wrong. B. <laughs> that doesn't count. That shouldn't count. <laughs> Who was B? Um, there was the Gorillas, the Misfits, ZZ Top, and the last one that you right. didn't say. Mary? Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> Correct. 
They're not on the playlist? Nope. Hard to concentrate didn't make the playlist? Nah, we haven't put it on there yet. Uh, Gorillas, Clint Eastwood, season one. Misfits, uh, Dig Up Our Bones, I think, season two. What? ZZ Top had um, something about sunglasses in season two as well. Yeah. Sunglasses. I can't remember the actual name. Alrighty, it's Mary 2, VJ1. Number five. What is the name of my car? VJ. Houdini. Correct. Two to two. Last question. Last one here. It's another Sean question. Last question. What is Sean's favorite beer? VJ. Red Apple Ale. Correct. Quick on that buzzer. And you'll win the prize. I just, I feel like this is my season, you guys. <laughs> it only took me three to get there. All right. Oh, oh darn. I thought it was the Undertaker one. I saw, I saw Undertaker on the back. And I was like, Undertaker. And then it said AJ Styles. And I was like, hey, AJ Styles. That's what I would say <laughs> this whole time. AJ Styles Monster Truck. A1 from day one, baby. Is it A1 or A... Or is it says AJ, but it looks okay. Like it's supposed to look like A one. This this little symbol kind of confused me for like the first year. I thought it said P one, and I was like, "What the fuck does P one stand for?" And I was like, "Oh, it's phenomenal, phenomenal one." <laughs> you know, it might say P one then. Does it? Is it? Oh, it thought, does say P one. Okay, so that's phenomenal I thought, one. After, this whole time, I thought it was AJ. It's actually P one. Okay, so this is phenomenal one. After a while, I was like, maybe it just stands for phenomenal, and then they just like randomly threw the L in there for later. I was like, why does it look like AJ, but also A one? <laughs> now it's and, and P one all at the same time. That's right. what it is. It's supposed to look like AJ and P one. Wheel of topics time. Wheel of topics. Topics. All right, here are the categories. Dark Cloud 2, Ghost. Most romantic moments, unromantic moments, favorite chocolate, least favorite chocolate. You know, the bunny. Unromantic moments. Unromantic moments. Were some, like, maybe moments that were kind of supposed to be romantic and just kind of fucking backfired on you. Or someone trying to be romantic with you. Every moment. Every, ever. every moment. <laughs> every moment ever. Did I ever tell you... I know I told you for a fact about this story. I don't know if I ever told Mary. There was this one time when I was single. And uh, I was trying to pick up this girl. And I was like... I was like, you know what I'm going to go for? I'm going to go and try and pick up this chick. And then uh, I was at Taco Bell. And uh, I get up to the window. <laughs> and I was like, and she opened the window. She was like very attractive. I was like, you know, why don't I go for it? Why don't I try this? I'm like, I'm going to try, try and be... Try to be, uh, just be myself, you know, see what happens. Just let, just let it flow out. And she said, hey, you know, this is this much. I'm like, okay. Pull out my debit card, and I'm like, I gotta do something. <laughs> so, I, I, I smell my debit card right in front of her. <laughs> what? Oh, and, God, uh, I forgot about this story. And I handed it to her. <laughs> and then as soon as she was gone, I'm like, well, fuck. <laughs> Yeah. This is me being natural. I know why I never do it. <laughs> that girl straight up was like, oh, he's just smelling all the coke off it. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. What possessed you to smell your jammer? I was just being natural. I was like, let's do whatever comes natural. And then that's fucking what I did. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. This is why I never do that. You, you were supposed to do whatever comes natural, not whatever comes primal. I don't know what the fuck you were doing there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like you see this card. This could, this could be you. I didn't say anything. I just like I just it's like subliminal. I slowly put up my nose and slid it like I was cashing my flying at the grocery store. Oh my god! I bet she just like Ew, I don't want to touch that now. Well, she came back as a black guy, so I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well. Well. <laughs> Hey man, take your card and your food and get the <laughs> fuck out. Where was this at? Taco Bell, the one right next to the house. Does she still work there? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That might have been the last day. 
Oh, she quit right then and there. Like, she walked up to the black guy. Like, hey, give him back his card because I'm leaving. I, I quit. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, Lord. Yeah. What about you, VJ? Anything like that? Uh, if I knew any of them, you'd know and you'd remind me and I'd tell them. No. Uh, there was this one time we were in high school and uh, there was this cute girl we'd hang out with. And she was talking about how fat her legs were. Like, nah, girl, your legs are flabulous. Uh, <laughs> shit. I remember saying that. Yeah. But I don't remember who we're talking about. Uh, her name was Ashley. And we hung out with her, like, sophomore year. Or oh, Ashley uh, Ayers? Yeah. We don't she really... Our, uh, she, 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 she graduated. Come in. Come, come in. Yeah, come in class. Come in class. But uh, she... She don't think she hung out with us. She were we're still kind of like friends, but she, we never really hung out. After yeah, that. it was just. I think we went to her church like once or twice. Yeah, we still lock in, and uh, I hated it. Me too. She did tell me she loved me that day, and then like five seconds later, my dad was here. Was like bye bye, and I ran out. I was like bye bye. Fuck this place. It was horrible. Um. She told you she loved you. Yeah. And then in my head, I was like, I don't know how to how to respond, and I bet she's lying. <laughs> like that's, that's what I was thinking. I was like, okay. Maybe it was like a, a brother love thing. Bro, I love you. It could have been. But I was like, I want to get the fuck out of this place. Alrighty. Mary, anything to add? Or do you want to go to the next subject? I'm trying to think if I had anything like horrifically embarrassing happen to me. <laughs> I can't think of any other Alright, next topic. <laughs> we got most romantic moment. Favorite chocolate, least favorite chocolate. What are you doing now? Most romantic moment. Moment. No, I moment. Didn't think of any cool romantic moments. Pretty sure there was a time that I straight up like did it all the way up. Yeah. I took a bunch of roses and like took all the petals off of them mm-hmm. uh, and I stuck them underneath the blanket. So they weren't on top of the bed. So it wasn't like obviously, um, you know, it's like one of those, you pull the covers off to go to bed and you're just like, what the fuck is this? Except it was more like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> and then my girlfriend said, like, oh, that's cute. <laughs> that we, you know, we were yeah. going to have sex, but we had to throw all the petals off the bed first. So, yeah. Funny time. Was it, uh, Mary, is there anything cool and romantic I've done that stuck out? Huh, that much? Yeah, earlier today <laughs> when you farted and locked her in the car. No, I'm just kidding. That, was, that never happened. Do you, but. Remember, you remember when we played um, Sexy Clue? Or was it Clue? No, oh, Clue. yeah, it was like... Uh, okay, okay, I remember what. Okay, so any questions? No. We we played this game, and I came up with a game, and we both we all put, we both put ten things in a cup that was like very sexual. We played Clue, and whoever won, I think the loser had to draw from the cup, and then it was like sex challenges and shit like that. It was just like a kids board game too that we were playing. Was, yeah, the no, one. Oh, guess who? Well, guess the one with all the faces. Yeah. Guess who? We're playing Guess Who, and then like loser had to, or, had to draw from the cup and like do a, like a sexy challenge and shit like that. <laughs> One of my challenges uh, was to put the Emily card in your vagina. <laughs> That's what I remember. And then we just put it back in the box. <laughs> I, meant, I meant like. When, when this airs, my dad's like randomly playing Guess Who. He goes, Motherfucker! <laughs> 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 Yeah. Anytime 
how we get some good alone time is gonna be a nice romantic time. Like when yeah. we were in Louisville, that was great. <laughs> yeah. I just gave myself a headache. We just we just snuggled and. Is that is like, that what oh happened God. when I came home from the dog park or what? the dog hospital, whatever it was? Dog what? park. When y'all were in the shower today? together. <laughs> the shower. In my shower, I beat the shit out of y'all. We didn't have sex in your shower. Oh, I, I didn't think you guys were having sex in my shower. I was just like, they're in my shower together. I don't even <laughs> get in the shower with my girlfriend. How dare they? Why? <laughs> I just had a really bad headache and hadn't eaten any food. I was very oh. angry. We were close. We got, we got to write the Taco Bell and you got a phone call. And turned yeah, around. I hadn't eaten. I didn't, like, until we got home at, like, uh, and I was eating that beef stew. I hadn't eaten anything all day. And, like, I had barely had any sleep, so I just had a really bad headache. I bet you were like, you got, you like, right in front of Taco Bell, and that phone rings, like, no, I'm so close. <laughs> so close. To be fair, like, we shower together, like, almost every time one of us needs a shower. So we didn't even, and we were planning to be out by the time you got home. We were like, we were oh, so you were planning to hide it. Yes. You didn't want me to know about it. <laughs> That makes it so much better. <laughs> All right, BJ. Least favorite, favorite candy bar. You know, can we go back to like the least romantic moment? Yeah. That time I came home and you were both in my shower. <laughs> <laughs> That's a callback if I ever. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you shower with Leslie? No, we do shower together. I just was like, they're in my fucking shower together. I don't know why it pissed me off. Yeah, this is bad. I was hungry. That's probably all it was. Well, I'm sorry that we were <laughs> in your shower. Um, most, oh wait, best chocolate. Best and least, which one? Oh, it's, that's a combined one? That's the separate, but I mean, we might as well just talk about both together since they're related. <coughs> My least favorite's Almond Joy. I do not like almonds. I second that. Well, I think we actually started Cheers R Us. Our favorite, we have a segment called Trick or Treats. And the first one we ever did was Almond Joy. So I just used ground on this week. And it wasn't even because of the almonds for me. Because I love almonds and chocolate bars. It was bars. the coconut. It was the coconut, yeah. Which I also hate. Oh, oh, I remember the Almond Joy one. Yeah, that one's really bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, I actually have a collection of ones that I just don't like. What's that? Zero bars. Uh, I don't know if I had those. Not that bad. Uh, Almond Joys. Pretty much any candy bar with coconut in it is going to make the list. Yeah. Um, Candy with marshmallows makes it for me, too. Take Fives are pretty good. I love Take Fives. Yes. Uh, Take Fives are actually up on the up and up one. Take Fives. Reese's is probably my favorite. Reese's Cups, number one. Snickers is... uh, For me, it goes... Reese's Cups, it's a tie in the middle between Snickers, Twix... And uh, take five, and then I think it, for me, Twix, I, Snickers is a little better than Twix. Okay, but man. before Snickers and right under Reese's, you're gonna have Milky Ways. Nah, I kicked Milky Ways off my list. I, I would rather have a Three Musketeer than a Milky Way. I think Three Musketeers are better than Twix, and I think they're kind of tied with Snickers. But yeah, like Reese's takes top spot, and then it's got, the rest just kind of fluctuate, like. Really, if I'm in the mood for one more than the other, I'll get that. Because like, there's times where I'm like, man, I fucking want a Twix. Keep that Snickers away from me. For me, keep tw- those Snickers away from me. Twix are just too hard. I just uh, if you find the right one, they're gooey in the middle. I know. If you're, buying, if you're using, if you're getting the right ones, they're like the caramel really gooey instead of hard. I know Mary's favorite is Kit Kats. Mm-mm. You don't like Kit Kats anymore? No, I do. Favorite, I do though. like Kit Kats, but it's my. Second favorite. What the fuck? My absolute you like, lying fucker. N- no, uh, the only reason that I tell you Kit Kats are my favorite is because my actual favorite is so hard to find. They're called Score, S K O R. It's like Heath, but like twenty thousand times better. And uh, so it's Score, and then Kit Kat, and then um, those cookies and cream Hershey bars, the, the, the white ones with the, the little the, Oreo pieces in it. Okay. And then. Um, those Hershey's Gold we had the other day were good. Yeah, those were good. Um, and then oh after gosh. that, it's Twix. And then... Uh, 
What was after that? Oh, Three, Mus um, Three Musketeers. Yes. And those are my favorites. Least favorite is anything with coconut or marshmallow. I think he's like marshmallow. No. What the fuck? I don't like marshmallow in my chocolate. What the fuck? I love s'mores. S'mores are amazing. I will only. I will make them in the oven like all the time. I'll make only eat some, s'mores. I don't have any. I don't have the ingredients, but I do make it all the time. I only eat. You go get the ingredients. Marshmallows <laughs> if I can make them over a campfire and they are charred completely black. Uh-huh. It's the only way I'll eat marshmallows. You hear that, Sean? She likes the black ones. <laughs> well, I saw how long she was playing with that chocolate rod earlier. Yeah, I thought it was a snack, not a. <laughs> I don't know, I can't it something my long. Teeth. I know, it hurts my teeth too, but I thought it was a snack, not a movie. There we go. The point now. Already. Eating the salty chocolate road. It is now time for our next segment. <clears throat> movie reviews. Movie reviews. This week, we're doing double shot anime style. Because anime and Valentine's Day go hand in hand. Do they? Yes. Hand. First up to bat, Devil Man <coughs> Cry, baby. It was so good in the beginning. And then, episode nine happened. They goofed it all up. What are you doing? Yeah, it was pretty good at first, and then it got really weird. Devil Man Cry, baby. It was really good. And then I got to episode 9. Yeah, it was like, what, 10 episodes long? Yeah. Everything was perfect. And then episode 9 happened. And, just, and the way it ends, you're just like, fuck this episode, fuck this episode, fuck this episode. Yeah. Start episode 10 and you're like, yeah, fuck this episode. Fuck the show now. Like, yeah, fuck this whole show. Like, the first 8 episodes, I was like, man, this show's so fucking good. Like, it was so gritty. And there was so much violence and sex. And, like, uh, I've loved that. Those part. are things I love. Violence and sex. <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> What's my name? At one point, this girl was like, this guy put, like was going to rape this girl. And she's like, okay, let's just fuck then. And he was fucking her. And, like, he was talking to her. And it pissed her off. And she, like, punched him to death with her fist. Like, one punch. And still kept fucking his corpse. That's metal's fuck. <laughs> I just like how you're describing this to our viewers. They're like, "What?" I don't remember this part, and uh -huh. I'm surprised that you was, retained this. It was, yeah, I mean, that that shit stuck with me. But uh, <laughs> sounds like it stick with anybody. <laughs> yeah, but it was that girl who was like jealous of uh, the main character's girlfriend, and she's like a demon as well. Um. I like the I like the rapping gangsters that were like right something in the show for some reason. Randomly pop it up like yeah. just to rap and save the day. And uh and die. Yeah, they die. <laughs> I like um I like even though he's like this has this devil like quality in this demon, he still has like really crazy emotions. Man, I thought things were gonna flip uh right before episode eight. Yeah, that scene. And it was, you know, supposed to be like this powerful scene, and then they, uh, and things, things were supposed to get better after that. <coughs> nope. Fuck it. Throw it out the window. We're yeah. gonna start a new one. And the fights, <coughs> the fights were pretty cool though. Yeah, they were. And I like the fights. Uh, I just after episode nine, I was like, it's berserk all over again, man. You I, just didn't like the ending of Berserk. No, I fucking hated he, the he ending. Did. I didn't either. It was kind of upsetting. Um, but I'm still. Gonna I would still rewatch those though. Aren't you? The Berserk ones. I not. I won't ever unless they finish it and add to part four. I'd still rewatch them. I'm giving this a six out of ten, and that's only because of the first eight episodes. They 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 got the high enough rating on their own without the last two helping. I would agree with that. If, in fact, it was on par to be like a possible 10, and then, of course, the last two episodes just took four away from it for me. Yep. That's how it worked in my book. Why don't you, Mary? You watched it with me. 
Yeah. Um, I'm gonna give it a seven. Just because I didn't want us to give it three sixes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's fit, though. Devil Man Cry, baby. Yeah, actually, it would have been perfect. Alright, let's jump to our next anime. Naruto Season 1. And when I say Season 1, I'm going by Netflix standards. One, episode 1 through 26. So it starts from the beginning, and it stops right after the written exams to that test. And they're about to go in this cave. And then that's like the where it ended off. I didn't watch any further, because I want to keep up with the viewers. And just, so I've only watched Netflix, what Netflix considers Season 1. Um... I want to say something before I start. Like, I hated Naruto my whole childhood. Right? I was like, man, this shit. Because I watched one episode and I watched part of a movie. I'm pretty sure if you go back through our episodes, you'll hear a couple episodes where he shit talks Naruto. Yeah, I know a few. I know like season two, episode twenty five <coughs> or twenty four. I'm definitely <coughs> shit talking it. And <laughs> I was like, you know what? Vijay's like, let's try Naruto out. I was like, you know what? Let's try it out. Give it a second chance. Let's see what happens. Uh. I really liked it. Uh, I had a cheesy '80s intro music, but for I saw, the first season, yeah. And I was like, "All right, it's fine." Uh, Some of their intros are just so good, though. Well, we're only on season one, so that's what. Did we're you only on. have one through all season one? Yeah, huh. okay. makes sense, I guess. It's a long anime, so. And uh, yeah, and it's a lot better than I remembered. And so hopefully season three we can do more redemption shows, things we thought we didn't like, and try to give a second chance. And uh, uh, one thing I do like about the show is I like how the fighting is a more of a physical, or like a more of a mental than a physical Yeah, fighting. it's like all strategy for the most part. Yeah. I think that's cool as shit. And, uh, a lot of it things. really just reminds me all the way through when I'm watching it, like, this is D&D. This is Dungeons and Dragons played out for us and yeah. like on the screen. This character represents this type. This character represents this type. And I'm literally watching it happen, you know, instead of playing it myself. It's just the vibe I get from it. Yeah. And I, I, I get that. And the way, especially the way Naruto handles himself, he handles himself like a player in D&D. Like, yeah. I'm going to be the best. <laughs> like yeah. super cocky. Gets his ass whooped a lot, and is like still cocky about it. Um, Accidentally kisses another dude. And it's, yeah. <laughs> uh, the bridge art in season one, and I thought this was fucking phenomenal. The it was just a good arc, and uh, the whole assassin dude who was badass. He looked like he had a cloud sword from Final Fantasy. Yeah, that was that arc was amazing, and. Uh, I always forget you're bad with like names uh, when it comes to Japanese names. Oh, I'm horrible with it. Yeah. Uh, I'm just I'm lucky. I'm good with Naruto. Can't remember his name either. Uh, I actually got the name of his little sidekick down. Uh, you know what? Zabuza. Zabuza. Zabuza was his Zabuzo. name. Zabuza. 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 Yeah. As uh, as uh, apprentice was Haku. Yeah. Fun fact, Haku is the name of that dragon in uh, Spirited Away as well. Okay. <laughs> uh. I can see how much you care. <laughs> I didn't Have you see seen it that? at all, actually. No, <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. Do you think he fucked it? No, I was looking at him. He was, you were like, I can see how much you care. He looks down at the paper. I'm like, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Do you think he fucked Haku? Yeah, I mean, there was very, very, you know, hardcore, subliminal messages there. Yeah. Pretty sure they boned. Okay. Uh, I thought Zabuza's death was fucking bother as fuck. Yeah, dude. I was like, by the time he died, I was like, damn, I don't want him to die, but it's the fact that he's going to die that makes me not want him to die. Yeah. So that makes it, like, this right here... Is gonna push him to that peak where he's like piccolo status, but he's gonna die. So yeah. there's nothing I can do about it. I was like, man, he he went out like a boss. You yeah, know? he did. Now, even though he did kind of fall and cry over a little, he needed it. Yeah, 
they they were friends and, and uh, may be lovers. Still good. And then we got a little bit of a father son dynamic. And then at the end uh, of the Netflix considered season, they uh, get ready for these new exams, and a bunch of people from different uh, ninja air communities are coming by. And then there's I remember one character when I watched the episode of Naruto that made me hate it. I remember one character I it was the majority of that episode, and it was Lee. That's that dude with that bowl cut and crazy eyebrows. Yeah. And I'm like, I remember not liking him a lot. I fucking love Lee. I hate him. But I love Lee's character. He's creepy. <clears throat> but I mean, I'm like, Sakura, always... I will protect you. <laughs> He's fucking, I love him. And uh, from what I was seeing in season one, I was like, I might give him a second chance. I did like his dad. From it's what not I was... his dad. It's not? This is just a sensei. Oh. Oh yeah, okay. but a guy who looks just like him, and it's not his dad. <laughs> That's what I think's funny about it, because I'm pretty sure they, it is his dad. Yeah, but like, it's like a secret, like nobody's supposed to know. So, long story short, I think I misjudged Naruto. Believe it, nine out of ten. Hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. I mean, I give it a nine out of ten too, but I just was. Surprised to hear you say it. Yeah, me too, honestly. Your whole life. Fuck Naruto. <laughs> fuck, those, fuck those faggoty people who think I Naruto's think, a good anime. I think the reason I hated it so much is because I was a big One Piece fan. And at the time, nobody else was but me. Everybody's like, Naruto's better. I'm like, fuck y'all. And so I was like, Not One Piece is best. It did take One Piece longer to get really good, though. I've, Considerably, I've, in my opinion. I love season one of One Piece. It had its downs. And it's up, yeah. just like every anime. I just thought it took what, it, like the story was paced out a lot further than Naruto. I love, how, I love how apparently like One Piece is your favorite anime, and then like we never watch it. You want to fight? <laughs> no, just kidding. Like, first, first day we hung out, we we did watch it, and he fell asleep. I'm sorry. I was like literally. I got up at like nine o'clock and yeah. like cleaned my entire. Up. No, I cleaned my entire house. So you wouldn't have to come into a mess. So I was like really tired, and we started watching it at like ten o'clock. So we I did. Was already up we also hours. watched like Page Master, I think. <clears throat> mm-hmm. But and I didn't mean to fall asleep on you. I swear. And I'm like, it's all right. I was, just, I was fucking leave it. Make it makes you guys feel better. Uh, that's the exact same story of mine and Leslie's first time ever hanging out. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> the very first time I met Leslie. Comes over to my house. I put in Scooby Doo. We're gonna watch Scooby Doo together. And I fall asleep because I work third shift. Yeah. And I fall asleep on her, like, on her boobies. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. And she was like hardcore, like, virgin, like, don't touch me type person. But I, apparently, I, you know, she was just like, okay, this is safe. This is safe. She thought I was gonna rape her because apparently I made a joke about how, you know. <laughs> You're gonna get in the car with me? Hey, you know I'm not a rapist. <laughs> like, I think. Did you watch Scooby Doo because of me? Because I remember like when you first. Yeah, you bought me the. You yeah. Bought, I, you just bought me them, and I was gonna watch and them. And then I was like, because you were telling me about how cool she was. It's like, does she like Scooby Doo though? And you're like, in fact, we're about to watch it. Yeah. So like, we like, I fall asleep watching Scooby Doo, and my dad comes in there a few times, and apparently he wakes me up. I'm like, oh, I need to take you home. Yeah, because it's like really late at this point, and I never bought her food. <laughs> and it, uh, what a dick! Yeah, I guess like it was weird, but you know, it was I was just good enough for a second date. For a second date, um, I had a similar experience because I worked night shift. I was um, dating this girl, and she uh, gave me a hand job. And it was horrible. Wow, that is a very <laughs> similar experience. Uh, but it was so horrible. It like, felt like sandpaper going across my dick. And I was just like, "Do you like it?" And I was like, "Kind of." And, uh, <laughs> and I, I don't know what happened, but she got. I guess I hurt her feelings because I didn't say it was amazing. But I was just like, I'm just glad it stopped in my head. I didn't say it out loud. <laughs> And she started crying, like, no, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I worked night shift at the time. I was like, no, it's fine. 
and I passed out. <laughs> and then, like, I woke up. I'm like, it's okay, because she was still crying. It's okay. And she was, why did you fall asleep on me? I was like, I didn't fall asleep on you. She said, you just fell asleep for two hours. Holy I'm like, shit. I'm like, bullshit. I didn't fall asleep for two hours. I didn't know. I just, like, I blinked, and I was out for two hours. And I woke up to her still crying. Shit. I was like, that one was <laughs> destined to fail. I yeah. feel like that should have been on your uh, Least worst one. romance. Yeah. Moment. I don't How know. Did you miss that. <laughs> Ta- I think the Taco Bell one still still tops that. No. Shit, you think? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Taco Bell is pretty bad. I don't know. It's just like, have you ever felt sandpaper? Hot <laughs> around my dick. <laughs> this one. Thank God. That's what it felt like. Alrighty, it's now time for our last segment. Two guys in the groove. Two guys in the group. Who wants to start it? I have, if I can find it, uh, on this episode, I have chosen a song by The Devil Wears Prada. Oh. And the song is called Sour Breath. Sour breath. You? It sounds disgusting. It sounds familiar. Uh. <laughs> I don't know if he's saying like my breast stinks or like your breast stinks. It was a callback to one of my old girlfriends who had oh god sour breath. Yes, her breath did stink. Actually, sour breath is a reference usually turned. Uh, I think it means like people who drink alcohol. Oh, okay. That means you smell alcohol in their breath. See, it wasn't that. It was like. <laughs> yeah, it was bitter breath. <laughs> My song is called Wavy, spelled with two V's. It's by. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his first name. Spell it M Y K K I. Micah? Micah Blanco. He's a gay rapper, and I really like this song. Okay. Getting wavy, getting wavy, getting wavy. I don't know. I just thought I remember. It's really good. I really like this song. And I was like, I really want to pick this for two guys in the group. Hells yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so I picked um, <clears throat> Falls on Me by Fuel. Fuel? Yes. Okay. What about the song do you like? I don't know, I just vibe with it. You vibe with it? Yes. You think it's going to fit the style of the two guys? I think it'll... Yeah. It's a... It's a kind of like... It's kind of like rock, but it's like a little bit softer rock, you know? I think it'll go. I think it'll go. And if not, you guys can suck it. Damn! (laughs) (laughs) All right, time for some housekeeping. You can follow us on YouTube. We're under Cool Kids with Asthma. That's the channel name. We are Two Guys in the Dark. We have our own website, Two Guys in the Dark. We, uh, you can follow me on Instagram, I'm Captain Cool Sixty Nine. Follow VJ on Instagram at Butt Checking Bananas. That's me. Follow Mary on Instagram, Faded Dot Rainbow One Three Four. And if you want to listen to our horror podcast, me and her do. It's called Fears Are Us. And then me and VJ and Joey do a season called Cap- uh, Joe's Bizarre Adventure, uh, Chapter 1. And then me and Mary and my dad have Chapter 2 going on. You can also listen to VJ's spinoff movie, the Kishaw movie. Three hours and 40 minutes of amazing content. Also, follow the podcast on Instagram, Two Guys in the Dark. Follow the podcast on Twitter, Two Guys in the Dark. Follow the podcast on Facebook, Two Guys in the Dark. Follow the podcast on SoundCloud. Two guys in the dark. Don't forget to be romantic. For or, you know, know, very extremely unromantic. Throw a chocolate bar at a bitch. And we are... <laughs> Two guys in the dark.